Good morning, my friends. Hope this video finds you well this Monday morning. Gonna be a great week. I feel it. I've got two picks here, and we're gonna take a look at the morning board. Let's go. All right, let's dive right in. We've got one pick right now. We're gonna talk about Kawhi Leonard. 26 and a half points. This is an interesting one here on Price Picks. You can get this on sports books right now. Let's take a peek at 27 and a half minus 125. It went over to FanDuel. They had him at minus 105 at 28 and a half points. So you were getting two points shaved from FanDuel, one point shaved from DraftKings. No matter what, the 26 and a half looks pretty darn good. Notes on the side here. Nets are in shambles. Kawhi is cooking. 28 plus points he has scored in eight of the last 13 games. Now it gets better. Listen close. He's had 32 plus points in three of the last four games. He has scored 30 plus points in seven of the last nine wins. And over the last 10 games, averaging 37.2 minutes per game and 20.5 field goal attempts, which is over six field goal attempts more increased than the previous 10 games and eight more minutes per game than the previous 10 games. So he's playing a ton of minutes. Again, 37 minutes per game, 20 shots per game over the last 10, and he's hit the over in seven of the last nine wins and had 30-plus points in seven of the last nine. So maybe even take the latter at 30-plus points. So I'm going Kawhi Leonard on prize picks over 26.5, and on DraftKings, I'm taking over 27.5. DeMar DeRozan, let's go. I love the over 30.5 points and assists. Remember, I'm covering more of the board, more picks coming up in a second. Let's talk about DDR. But first... Do me a favor. I'm back, baby. I need you to show me some love. Hit the like button right now. Stop whatever you're doing. Scroll down on your phone. Boop. Hit that little thumb. And then if you're on PC, you should be able to see it right now. Like the video. Drop a comment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, baby. We went on a 20 and 4 plays of the day run for about two weeks. It was unbelievable. Last week, and you could probably still hear it in my voice. And uh, I woke up coughing overnight, took some more NyQuil, things like that. It's just, I have been in such a, a bad shape sleep wise. I was sleeping sitting upright in a, uh, a dining chair. So it's been, it's been rough for a week. And I had a rough week of gambling, but I took the weekend off, told everybody no picks. I need to rest up. And I posted in Discord only the one day I went 10 and 0 in picks after I had slept for five hours. So hopefully today is kind of uh, running that back. You know, I get a little bit more sleep and the picks come back in the W's. So let's talk DDR and we'll keep going. Thank you for your support. I'm almost at 3,000 subs. Hopefully today I get to 3K and we have a good video with some good wins and some good follows. So let's do a DDR over 30 and a half. I'm running this back. Had this one a couple, uh, several days ago for the members. I love this one. And you can get this a uh, little bit differently on prize picks. And let me talk about why I'm going 25 and a half on prize picks and I'm going 30 and a half points and assist on books. All right, let me bring up my notes. So DDR over 30 and a half points and assist. I put my confidence level is very high in Discord. Going against his former Spurs team. He's gone nuclear against three times as a Chicago Bull. Scored 32, 40, and 33 points in those last three games. Two last year, scored 33 earlier this year against the Spurs. He's over in 62% of the games at 30 and a half points and assists when playing 30 plus minutes over the last two months. He's also averaging 37 minutes per game. And with his rotations and the way they work out, I don't see him being yanked earlier than 31 to 32 minutes, which means he hits that 30 minute barrier, even if the Bulls do blow them out. Bulls are not really a team that blow teams out. They are just, they just play to the level of their competition often. They have a lot of close games with really good teams, bad teams they get in these weird shootouts with. And I expect today probably is one of those types of games. So on the books, 30 and a half, but price picks, 20 and a, 25 and a half. Why am I doing that? Well, let me talk about it. On sports books, you can actually get his points prop, uh, 26 and a half, juiced. All right, 25 and a half on DK, minus 145 right now. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that at all. It's way too much juice. And then I actually saw this morning using Odds Jam, a couple books had him at 27 and a half, unless my eyes deceived me under my uh, my NyQuil grogginess. So I thought it was 27 and a half, minus 105, similar to what we saw Kawhi Leonard at 28 and a half on FanDuel. So I said to myself, this is really good value. Um, that's great, great plus expected value here on Price picks at more than 25 and a half points. I totally faded their points and assists. I just wanted to take extreme value, and I took this on the book. So those are two book, uh, two picks. Hopefully, start us off with some Ws. Now, let me bring up the free tool here. All right, so I have blown up the screen a little bit to help you out. I'm going to sort over here at last 10 games. You guys can see who's hot, who's not at their current prop line, like this one. You can see that Kawhi Leonard again, 26 and a half DK Sportsbook. 
uh, for points. And this has since been moved again. Had hit the over in uh, eight out of the last ten games. You can see his his game logs. You can see his frequency over eight times. He's averaged twenty nine point two over the last ten. Two point seven more than the prop line. And then you can see the juice on the books. And again, this was my morning update. This actually moved. But where does this help us out for a site like Price Picks? Check this out. So with that sorted last 10 overs, or I can sort last 10 unders, look at this pick. Josh Giddy, OKC versus Golden State. His prop line is 7.5 rebounds, all right? Minus 135 DK Sportsbook, minus 132 FanDuel Sportsbook, and he's still there at 7.5 on prize picks. This tool usually will show you exactly who's going to get bumped, and you can get some plus EV uh, picks out of just highlighting the people who you can get before they move based on odds. Same game, Draymond Green, over 15 and a half rebounds and assists. Likely will move to 16 or get scrubbed. Same with Josh Giddy. Then you look at here and you're like, okay, and now, yeah, the odds are good. Price pick, same line, but how's he been doing? Well, Josh Giddy averaging 8.2 rebounds per game over the last 10. He's hit the over in eight out of the last 10, three in a row. Eight, eight, eight rebounds. Had a downer here with six. Three more in a row, a six, a nine, a ten. And then you go look at Draymond Green. How's he been doing in rebounds and assists? He was averaging 17.4. Uh, he had 18 last game, 16, 21. Missed at 14, 20, 20, 22, 16, 11, 16. Again, eight over the last 10 games. So when I go back to prize picks, I might add to my Kawhi Leonard, to my DeMar DeRozan, adding Josh Giddy over seven and a half rebounds and adding Draymond Green, 15 and a half rebounds and assists. Now, if I want to look at like a short list, I can do some filtering. So I'm going to go ahead, go to number filters, greater than, and I'm going to just do one for price picks. I'm going to get out all those blank ones. So I'm only, I basically told the tool, I only want lines that are on price picks. Then I went to number filters, and I'm going to do less than minus 129. So I want lines that are at minus 130 or worse. And then DK Sportsbook, I'm going to do the same thing. So we are basically only looking for props where we have the juice heavy to the over on both FanDuel and DraftKings. And then our goal is to find lines that are the same. So like this one, we've got Shy Gilgis Alexander, five and a half assists, juice heavy over. But look, price picks already bumped it. But we've got Giddy at seven and a half. That is live. Al Horford, two and a half assists. That is live. Mike Conley. Three pointers made live. Anthony Simons, three point made live. Clay Thompson, three pointers made live. Paul George, three pointers made is also live. DeMar DeRozan, rebounds, also live. And then rebounds for Donovan Mitchell, live. That is awesome. It is rare that you see this many live picks when you're looking at a morning board. That means there's a ton of value on the board. So, what I will do is I'll screenshot this for my members. I will post the coinciding picks inside Discord for the plays and what i tell people to do is look at this short list go down to the very bottom which i know you can't see but there's a last 10 games summary and start researching how have these teams done in these categories all right and you can see okay maybe let's look at the spurs so the spurs are giving up 41.8 rebounds per game over the last 10 games it's actually the eighth least in the nba so do i want DeRozan's rebounds Proppy on price picks, even though juice is heavy to the over, or do I want to stick with the points? I'd probably stick with the points. You know, we've got a little narrative we like there. We could look at the rebound percentages, everything here. You guys can do this. Well, how about three-pointers uh, being made? How many three-pointers are teams allowing? Go back here, and we can see, all right, we've got Paul George against the Nets. How many threes are the Nets giving up lately? And we can see Brooklyn Nets giving up the seventh most three-pointers per game at 13.6. All right, so that's a, a nice upside for Paul George. And that's also giving up 119.3 points per game over the last 10 games. So, again, another one for Paul George, for Kawhi Leonard, look good. So, when I go back to prize picks, I type in Paul George. Maybe I add his three pointers because of the research we just did. Could add Josh Giddy, been red hot in the rebound department. And all of a sudden, I've got myself a four pick power play or whatever you want this to be. You can mix and match more picks. Up to you. But 
that's the goal. I'm not saying these are great picks. They're ideal. I think you got to research a little bit more, look at some rotation stuff, look at more defensive scheming, look at their upside, look at their opportunity, how long they've been doing well, blah, 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 blah. So you know it. You know what to do. You have a free tool down below to check it out. you got my two personal picks there. Hopefully, this is a great video. Hopefully, you win money from it. If you do, patreon.com slash Spari plus EV bets all day posted inside Discord. And, of course, a bunch of uh, sports are covered for both sports books, prize picks, and underdog. So I will see you on the inside, my friends. Have a great day. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment. Tell me what's up. Tell me good job. Tell me bad job. I don't care. Just leave me a comment. I'll reply to you later. Have a good day, my friends.